Well, there are so many of you. I have a couple questions for you, then we're going to take it to the fans. There's microphones over here, guys. Microphone one, microphone two, and at the top, three and four. So get those questions ready. Please don't be shy. But let's go down the line here. I'll start with you, Courtney. How are you guys enjoying Liverpool Comic Con so far? Oh, hi. Um, it's great. And there's also really great Thai food right around the corner. Rosa. <laughs> I just had it. Um, it's, it's lovely. I've never done a Comic-Con before. This is so much fun. First Comic-Con. That deserves a round of applause. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I was texting Vanessa just to make sure she knows to come on stage. How's it been for you, Peyton? It's been great. We got to roam around the city a little bit and, um, yeah, checked out some of the food. It's been good. You guys have been so kind, too. Thank you. Round of applause for yourselves. Martin, how are you enjoying the UK and Comic Con? Well, I love it. It's just, you know, it's great. The people are so receptive to us, you know, in the show, and they have, they're really astute about the questions they ask, and they chat about, you know, specific episodes. And well, I've seen a couple of the books that the kids have done. These 10 year old kids have come over with poetry books and written all kinds of things about, uh, like, analyzing our characters. I'm just very impressed. Very impressed with the appreciation of the show. Thank you. Jesse, how's Comic Con treating you so far? Enjoying it? Cobra Kai loves England. We're having an amazing time here. Uh, we just the fans have been amazing, uh, so receptive and just so kind. Uh, we just are having a great time here. I'm lucky to be here with everybody, and uh, we can't wait for more. And we just appreciate you guys so much. It's absolutely an honor to be here. I love Liverpool from the bottom of my heart. Um, because I follow the football team as well, so I love y'all. That's what they like to hear. Let's go Villa! <laughs> Dude, it's awesome. I do not travel at all. I went to Canada a couple months ago, and now I'm here. Uh, it's awesome. You guys are awesome. Never seen a football game, but I'm hoping that'll change. Hoping this guy will convert me. All right. <laughs> Uh, Liverpool's been really fun. Um, I've been learning the accent a little bit, and I just think it's just really fun to say, I'm a Scousa. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's, it's been really cool. All right, guys. Th yes, that was good. Very good. We're also going to encourage you again to ask your questions. Again, microphones one and two are there. And at the top, three and four, we've got a lot of fantastic. Yes, give it up for Vanessa Rubio. Woo! Woo! Vanessa, how have you been enjoying Comic-Con so far? I've been loving it. You guys have been so lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, we have, yes, round of applause for Vanessa. <laughs> well, throughout the day and yesterday, we've been seeing a lot of cosplay for Cobra Kai. Can you talk to us about what it means to you for them to come up dressed, a lot of them dressed as you, Jacob, I've noticed. Yeah, I got it. It's cool to see uh, people, people just come up with just a little spray of color on their hair, you know. Uh, but, man, there's been some kids today that have had some kick-ass mohawks. And I'm like, dang, I'm kind of looks better than my mohawk. And five-year-olds <laughs> with tattoos yeah. like, on their chest. I'm like, wow. Yeah, I was saying, it's pretty funny to see the little kids come up. And they're like, I have a back tattoo. And they, like, take off their shirt. I'm like, oh, nice. All right. Like four. Yeah. All right. We're going to take it to you guys. I know you're so excited to talk to the cast of Cobra Kai. Let's start right over here. Microphone on the left, number one. Hello. Hi, um, I'm just wondering if you could just firstly say hi to my nephew, Tyler. He's not here today, but he loves you. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> and my question's for Jacob. How long does it take you to do your mohawk and tattoos? Um, the mohawk takes probably about an hour. And then the lip scar takes maybe 15 minutes. And a lot of times in the hair and makeup trailer, they play music. So if they're playing music, the back tattoo takes about an hour because I'll be dancing. <laughs> but maybe 40 minutes if I'm not. So it's, it's, I get to come in really early with the girls when I have my shirt off and I need a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your question. We are going to ask, by the way, just to limit it to one question per person, please. We've got a lot of fans here ready to uh, engage with our Cobra Kai cast. We're going to go to microphone number two here on the right. Hello. Hi, um, my question's for, your, for all of you, and it's, um, if you have a special talent, what is it, and can you show us what it is? 
I gotta say it because Gianni won't admit it. Gianni is an amazing belly dancer. So get up there, belly. I, I, I would show you, but I'd have to charge. I can't do that. You couldn't afford it. Um, I would say my talent, I can actually bend my arm all the way around. I'm, uh, yeah, very flexible. He doesn't have bones. I don't have bones. That's why I'm a great belly dancer. Show us. Show us. You wanna us, see it? Show us. I don't have a show surface. Us, show us. Here. Woo! Take your jacket off. Take your jacket off. Take your pants off, too. I'm in, I'm in. No, no, no. I'm in. I'd have to charge way more for that. Uh, what is in your pocket? It's like a bone. Stop. Hey, whoa, whoa. There's something on oh, your back. There's a reason why I play Dimitri. I don't, I don't have bones to break. I get hit a lot too, so it's good. <laughs> We're gonna, nice demonstration. We're gonna go up to microphone uh, number three up at the top left. Hello. This is for everyone. What was your favorite episode to film and why? Ooh. My favorite episode was on season three where we all had to fight in the LaRusso house. It's <laughs> where we all kind of collaborated to make that uh, scene happen. So what you guys don't see are like scene or parts where, like after Shul and I are fighting and stuff, we would pick up the coffee table and try to get the camera guy to go through like be in between our you know like moving parts and stuff. So to get everything in one take, it takes all of us to really collaborate and practice, and that's what's so great about this show. It's like we all want to make it great. Right yes. Any other favorite episodes? If anyone else would like to weigh in, favorite episodes to film? You know, my, one of my favorite, besides my diner sequence, which was the flashback stuff, which was amazing, I actually love it when Kreese fights Johnny and takes uh, Daniel LaRusso through a window in the dojo. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go up to microphone number four, up at the top on the right. Hiya. Hi, it, this is for Martin. I was talking to you briefly earlier about... Um, Cagney and Lacey and Chips, uh, the episodes that you were in back in the 70s. And you yeah, said you yeah. could tell me some stories about the guys from Chips. Can you do that now uh, with all these children around? Uh, yeah, they're hard with all the children around. <laughs> yeah, but the, you know, the Chips, well, Chips was a period of time before the Cagney and Lacey, but one of the great Cagney and Lacey stories was you know, my character doesn't really get along with Mary Beth Lacey. And we did a scene in an elevator where we're stuck in an elevator. And I was, you know, we had, I had to take my shirt off because it was a heat wave. And here you have two people stuck in an elevator and they don't really like each other. And <laughs> we're there for like a long time in, in the episode. And by the end of the episode, instinctively, we were so happy that the heat that we the elevator was released, and this is after probably 20 pages of dialogue. She and she was such an instinctive actress, Mary Beth Lacey Tyne Daly, that she grabbed me and we kissed each other on the mouth, and it was incredible because these two characters don't like each other, but because it was in celebration of just getting out of that elevator, and it was on camera. And it was absolutely so perfect because we never really even talked to each other again for the rest of the season. What? Because they don't like each other. Wait, did they use that? Yeah, yeah, they used it. Oh, it's great. I got to take these notes, Sensei. Hold on. It was great. <laughs> you know, John, John Kreese was a different person then. What do you mean you didn't talk to each other after? No, the characters didn't like each other very oh. much. And, and we kind of, I was a mach machismo <laughs> kind of, you know, guy who was a chauvinist. And she was a mother cop and I and the character always felt that there was no place for a woman in the police force contrary to now how we feel you know so that was like my favorite moment in the six years of doing a TV series was having a kiss with Tyne Daly the make out stuff it wasn't quite making it taking notes sensei it's always the make out stuff we have a question at microphone two here on the right um, I, I was just gonna say um, 
I watched it a thousand times. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, man. Wow. So cute. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, give a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Good for you. Stop. <laughs> that is the cutest thing. We'll go to microphone number one. We've got a question here on the left. If you had to play a different character, what play? Uh, what character would you play? I, I would play Hawk. <laughs> I want to be on the other side of the beatings. <laughs> be nice. I don't know. I, I think it's such a cool thing about acting is that you can play parts that aren't really true to who you are. You know, I don't think I'm a violent person, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of confirmation there. All right. Yeah, great. you're violent. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you are. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of what I would want to do: beat people up. Be fun. Anybody else? Would you switch characters? And if so, who would you want to play? I would play Tori. <laughs> <laughs> I second that. I would play Tori too. Aww. I'd play. I'd play Crease. Oh, I, love it. <laughs> I want to be in charge. <laughs> We've got a question up at the top. Uh, microphone three on the left. Hi. Um, I just want to say I love the show, especially because I do karate as well. Um, oh, yeah. My question is for all of you. What was the funnest scene to film? I think for me, yeah, breaking my arm. Yeah, yeah I know that's Jacob's favorite scene. <laughs> we, we would get the shot and they'd say it was fine, but he'd be like, no, 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 let's do five more takes. Come on, man. I'm really feeling it. <laughs> I was feeling it too. Um, no, I don't know. I really liked, what is it, season four, episode nine, when we did, like, the katas. Just because everyone trains so hard for months to do that. I know you... I like how you say everyone. Everyone? It was you. I trained <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I wanted to do a good job for you guys. No, he really was training for a really, really long time and It beforehand. was amazing, right, guys? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, We've got a gentleman here on the right in red, microphone two. Hello, Guys, Sarah. how's it going? Uh, it's the moon! Hey! I just want to say, you guys are so freaking cool, and uh, I'm just so glad to see so many Cobra Kai fans here. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Round of applause to you, Al. Woo! <laughs> I, I just wanted to ask, because obviously you guys have all really got to know each other. Like, who is the most like their character from the show? Tori? No. <laughs> uh, I bet I hope not. Please, please. I mean, I'll take it. But I was also going to say, I think Marty is the yeah. most like crazy. 100%. Because, and 100%. because Marty told me that when he leaves set, he cannot get out of crease mode for like two months after, which scares me, which really scares me. He told me that he goes to the airport when he's going through TSA. If they take too long or something's happening, he still feels like he's in crease mode. He stabs them. <laughs> I will, I will confirm that. That's very true. <laughs> Crease holds on to you for a while. He just holds on to you. He's dishes. <laughs> I don't know if it's complimentary to, you know, that was an interesting question. After you do two seasons last year, there's no question about it that there was a residual effect of the, the kind of, you know, anger and, 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 and emotions he feels, because, you know, I cry at supermarket openings normally, you know. So it, it's no all very apricots? interesting. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Wait, what? They have no respect. That's why they, <laughs> that's why they're in Cobra Kai, to learn. There's no honor in this theater. In the shape. No honor. Except for Kyler. Never switch sides. <laughs> I actually have a great story that really shows the true character of Kreese. I was at his house, and I'm on the other side of the house, and I hear this crying from the other end. And I'm like, is that my dad? And I'm like, yeah, that is him. I'm like, is he crying right now? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, dad, what, what, what's going on here? And he goes, <gasps> I'm watching Titanic, and it's just, it's just so beautiful. I can't, look what's going on with these people. It's just terrible. They had only each I, other. True story. I, I, I cry so much. <laughs> I do. I like you know, one of those things. Oh. Yeah. We get a, get a collective aww oh, for that Titanic <laughs> moment. Thank you for sharing. We're going to go to microphone one here on the left. We've got a question. Hiya. Hi. Um, 
I, I said it earlier, but Peyton, I literally love your jeans. They're so nice. Um, and also, uh, Jacob, I really like your jumper as well. said that before. But uh, this is a question for everyone. Um, if you could be a sweet, what sweet would you be? I just translated to American. Why is this I said so candy. hard? <laughs> I, I ate a Nutella waffle at breakfast, and it's, it's my favorite thing ever. So probably anything with Nutella. What would you be? Oh, um, <laughs> maybe a tang fastic because I really like them at the minute. So probably that. Okay, a tang fastic. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what that is. Out there. <laughs> you guys have Ben and Jerry's ice cream out here? Yeah. All right, Cherry Garcia. Sam. Yeah, Cherry Garcia would work for me. Yeah, with hot fudge, a lot of whipped cream, and, you know, just Does that eight, count? eighty-five cherries. Other than that, I'm not a sugar eater. <laughs> He's lying. Anyone else? What candy would you be? I don't know why I'm looking at you, Gianni. What? what me? Candy? You're singling me out? Oh, oh God. You know what? A red vine, because like I said, I don't have bones. You know? I just, <laughs> yeah, I'm a human red vine. Yeah. I'd be a Snickers. Because I'm layered. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Complicated. <laughs> I probably want to be a little piece of bitter honey. <laughs> I might be a Sour Patch Kid now that I think about it. <laughs> sour, sweet, gone. <laughs> Wait, gone? <laughs> What's the gone part? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Season sweet. five. What would be yeah. yours? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sharing one. Um, you know, something delicious, but... Awkward in front of groups of people? A <laughs> oh, I'd be a matcha latte. Oh, a a peep out of the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. That's me. I'm a, a microwave peep. Thank you. <laughs> I got yeah. a round of applause. Why not? Thanks, all, Mom. All right. We're going to move on to microphone number four, all the way in the back on the right. Who are all your favorite characters and why? Your favorite characters and why? In anything? Or yeah. Oh, oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, this is difficult. Favorite character? Oh. Me? Not um, just Cobra Kai. Not just Cobra Kai. Yeah. Deadpool. I like Deadpool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent taste. See everyone out there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like Deadpool. I, I like his quick whips, and uh, Ryan Reynolds is cool. Ooh. So, yeah. Seeing where is it com we're at Comic Con, maybe favorite superhero or something from that genre, favorite characters in that way? Superheroes? Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the right place. Yeah. I did audition for Captain America, but I didn't get it. Maybe the next one. <laughs> Go ahead, Don. Oh, I love all the X-Men. Mm. So I and, and Rogue particularly is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like I actually love Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid. I think Paul Newman, or even, even I guess, Wyatt Earp, you know, I like that genre very much, mm. you know, to be, find a new take on Wyatt Earp, you know, Jesse's doing the prequel to Tombstone, and it'll be a whole new take on Wyatt Earp, you know, because it's a young Wyatt Earp, I think, you know, yeah, the Western hero will be a lot of fun to do nowadays, because a lot of you don't get to see much Westerns, you know, but it, it takes a real smart, good script to make a Western work these days, because all of you are so sophisticated as film goers, really. I mean, you <laughs> like Cobra Kai's. I would want to play Batman, um, just because it has a lot of layers as well. Like, he is an orphan, um, grew up super rich, uh, and he's a vigilante, and I think, yeah, I just, I just um, think you'd be amazing to play. I could definitely see you do that. Who's yeah, your favorite Batman so far? Favorite what? Batman so far. Um, Christian Bale. Yeah, mm. Christian Bale. I guess my favorite would be Eren Yeager. <laughs> what was that, Jacob? Eren Yeager. My favorite character from Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not after season four, though. <laughs> We're going to go to microphone two here on the right. Hello, sir. 
Hello, uh, welcome to Liverpool, and uh, I want to have a question is, um, what is the most difficult scene to film in Cobra Kai and why? The All Valley Tournament? Oh, wait, no, no, I'll take oh. this. There's that scene where I brought out a lasagna, <laughs> and I had to walk from one point to the other. That was, that was hard. That was <laughs> I trained for months for that, <laughs> and the plate was hot. Courtney, <laughs> you do a lot more than that. <laughs> oh, please, Finn, go ahead. No. I'm like, the All Valley Tournament was the hardest for me. Uh, the, the speed we moved on our fights was insane. So that was the hardest for me. I thought that you did a great job in that. Oh. I've looked at that scene many times. All these kids, they don't get any time to train. Billy and I get time when we did our fight scenes in season one, season two, and for the fight in the season three where we go through the windows. We all get, we trained for months during the shooting of the show. But all of these kids in that, at the end of season four, and, and they were brilliant, <laughs> really just brilliant. And it's really hard, that's the difference between, you go and make a movie and you have months to train for a movie action sequence. But on television, you don't really get that time. So there's a big difference between doing an action picture and doing action on television like they do. So it's, you know, hands up, you know, hands together for all of that effort. You know, it's really great. Okay, we're going to go with a question here at microphone number one on the left. Hi. Um, so at the end of season four, we saw, like, Hawk go over to Miyagi Dao, and we saw, like, Amanda and Chris trying to help Tori. So do you think that will, like, have an effect on her in season five? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I am so sorry. I was just looking around going, where, are you up there? Okay, sorry. She's right here on the left, yep. Microphone one. Could you just repeat that? Yeah, um, so at the end of season four, we saw Hawk go over to Miyagi Dao, and we saw Amanda and Chris trying to help Tori, so do you think that'll have an effect on her in season five? Yeah, I definitely do. I think Amanda has had a huge impact on, on Tori, and has been one of the few people other than Chris to really, you know, see potential in her and see something and, and take care of her, which is something she's really hesitant to take in. So I think that will definitely have an effect. Great question. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thanks for that question. We're going to go up top to microphone three up on the left. Hi, Em. Hi. Um, so I've got a question for everyone. Um, would you rather be friends, Sam or Tori? Because Sam's a boyfriend stealer and Tori's a psycho. <laughs> so just... <laughs> Who would you pick? <laughs> Psychos are way more fun than boyfriend stealers. The heck? Psycho, Team Psycho for sure. Yeah, I'm Team Psycho as well. I'm Team Psycho as well. She's got your back. I feel like if Tori's on your side, you want that girl on your side. Exactly. Yeah, yeah no love for the boyfriend stealers here. <laughs> no. Also, Mary's not here, so we're just like taking shots. Exactly. That was <laughs> <laughs> if Mary were here, it'd be very divided. Jesse, Team Psycho for you? Very much so. <laughs> just confirming. Okay, we're going to go to microphone number four, all the way what at the top on like the that? right. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, um, thank you. If you, could be, if you could have one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Oh, God. Korean. <laughs> K-Bar. <laughs> you mean like just one, like just one thing? Mm -hmm. Just a single thing? Yeah, like oh, cheddar cheese. Genre. Yeah. Cheddar or like a country, like... What do you? What was the question? One, like we one all love food, food so just much. One? This is such an evil question. You can't choose. Probably eggs. I do eggs. Oh, you can do everything with that eggs. That would get so nasty. That's smart. <laughs> Scramble them, fry them, do anything with That's them. That's how I feel them about raw, a potato. You just would eat little ch baby chickens. I think, oh, no, I, like think I would pick potato. Potato. Yeah, yeah that's potato. a really good. <laughs> Versatile. You could hash it. You could fry it. You could make it into a salad. Yeah. Mayonnaise on it. Mash it? Don't do that, but you can. Ribs. <laughs> Ribs? You could make burgers with it. You could eat it as like a barbecue. Uh, wait, you could, okay. you could build your house with the bones? <laughs> Absolutely. You could make chains. <laughs> what, what if you're having a business meeting, though, and the only thing you, you like a uh, Dinner, no, business no, dinner. Give them ribs. You're going to have <laughs> ribs for business? Of course, beef ribs. Your contract's yes. going to be covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Joe says, when all else fails, just That's give him ribs. Oh, the him amount bagels. of details in this answer are very much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you for that. We're going to go to the microphone over here on the right, number two. Hello. Hi. I'm a bit, like, I'm a big fan, and I want to know, like, um, uh, like, I want to know that, it's a question for you, you. I do jujitsu, and I want to know if you do it as well. Like, as like... I have trained a little bit of jujitsu, but it's mostly been me getting choked out by people who are way better than me. So I would like to say, yes, I am a fellow practitioner of jujitsu, but I'm more like the rag doll that everyone practices on. Requires too much stretching. <laughs> I, I, I would have done jujitsu, except it requires too much stretching. You know. No, but honestly, jujitsu is marvelous. It just it prepares you for all forms of karate, all different styles. You know, jiu-jitsu stretches you out. And um, I know Billy worked in jiu-jitsu because he, he, he worked within the confines of a lot of wrestling when he was in high school. So I know that a um, fellow playing Johnny Lawrence was very much a wrestler. And um, jiu-jitsu is brilliant. It just prepares you for everything. That's awesome you do jiu-jitsu. That's super cool. Yes, let's give her a round of applause. Best of luck. And also, Chris, I challenge you to a, from, to like, a, I actually just forgot its name. A duel? Like, Fight to the death. Film wrestling, like the film wrestling. Thumb war. Yeah, thumb war. Oh. A what? Thumb a war. thumb war. Yeah. Thumb war. You want to do a thumb war? Yeah. yeah. You guys should we, do it right now. Thumb war. Now. Yeah. <laughs> thumb war. Thumb war. Thumb, thumb war, thumb, thumb war, thumb war, thumb. There we are. <laughs> I... I'm under a professional contract for thumbing, so I, I can't do it, like, on the weekends. Uh, I, as I, unfortunately, I would violate my contract, but I want to thank you for the challenge anyway. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. Impromptu challenge. We have a question right over here on the left. Microphone number one. Hiya. If DC and Marvel were on like war, what character would you be and why? Batman. <laughs> Black Widow's pretty sick. Wonder Woman. She wears a bathing suit and fights crime. I'm with her. Yeah, DC. All right. I'd be Marvel. I'd be Phoenix. From the X-Men once again. <laughs> yeah, Captain America again for sure. <laughs> I, I, I have the shield in my house. I love it. I probably want to be the Flash. So in case DC was losing, I could just pew. <laughs> I just dip right out of that battle. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I'd be Iron Man. I, I think Dimitri is like a less rich and less cool version of Iron Man. <laughs> also <Just> less smart. <laughs> He's just a watered-down Iron Man. <laughs> Generic. Generic brand Iron Man. Walmart Iron Man. Yeah, oh, come on. Aluminum Man. Diet Iron Man, yes. Oh, wow, now I'm sad. <laughs> We've got a question all the way up at the top. Uh, microphone number three. Hi, mine's more directed at Peyton and Jacob, but it's how did you feel like going from Disney into Cobra Kai? And, like, do you enjoy Disney more or Cobra Kai? Probably Disney just because of the people that I'm surrounded with. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I would say I have a lot more fun, um, I think, on Cobra Kai. I just like getting to do the stunts, and I love these people. And it was just nice getting to do something a little different. But m making the segue, it was a complete change of pace for me because our Jesse was a multicam sitcom. So there was laughers on set and multiple cameras at once, and we cheated out for blocking and everything else. So this was a complete change of pace for me. Um, what? I did. <laughs> um, oh, someone's missing something. Uh, I would say I like Cobra Kai more. I think for both of us, we went from playing, you know, sort of run-of-the-mill, you know, sane children to unhinged karate kids. Um, so yeah, no, I, I have a blast getting to play Hawk, so 
I, I, I take over, Kai. Great question. Thank you. We're going to go to microphone two here on the right. This gentleman here. Hiya. Uh, hi, I'm Logan, and I and I do kickboxing. And I just have to say, how fun was it to film the school fight scene? And did anyone get hurt? Hawk, when I threw him into that trophy case, <laughs> he got very hurt. I actually really wanted to be the person that's uh, in that scene that made it into the into the final cut. That's actually my stunt double that goes through the glass. But I was begging the stunt coordinator, so I was like, "Please, please, let me be the person that gets thrown through the glass," because that was actually the very last shot that we did of all of season two. But they wouldn't let me do it, so I was pretty bummed. But no, the school fight scene was awesome. Like we, the like oneer in, in the hallway, we practiced for like two full days, just like over and over and over again. It was awesome. We also just have an incredible stunts team, an incredible group of people to make sure we do not get hurt. So I think that's also why, I mean, they prep us so well to just protect ourselves and, and keep it safe. So yeah, everything is very planned. Great question, thank you. We're gonna go uh, to number one here on the left. Hi, um, what was your favorite like fight scene to film? I think the f my favorite fight was the beginning with Billy. I enjoyed that equally as much as going through the window with Ralph. I really, I like that, but I didn't do it. But, you know, I really wanted to do it. And then I decided that it was a dangerous thing to do. But I'd never gone through a window. And, um, and the stunt guys were brilliant and they had to do it twice. And, uh, you know, I was glad that I didn't really push to do it because I would have gotten hurt. But it was a brilliant sequence and all of us fought really hard and trained hard for that and it was great. And we had time. You know, when they do their stuff, they don't get the time. But, you know, I think both fights in Ralph's house and in the school with all of them was just the best. The best fight scenes we've had above Billy and I and, you know, and Ralph and Billy and myself. I think the kids fighting in both those locations with sheer brilliance. And um, that's it, the best. Great answer. <clears throat> We've got a question up at the top, microphone three on the left here. So I was gonna ask about jujitsu as I won Welsh champion, but the little girl said it. So I was gonna ask, what's the most memorable gift you received in Comic-Con from this weekend? Oh, Lego Cobra Kai. Is anyone yes, familiar Lego. with Lego oh, yeah, Cobra Kai? School. She's on Instagram. She recreates the scenes from the show using personalized Lego figures out of all of us. And she came and presented us with our own personal character and in a little glass case. I asked her to sign it for me, and then I attacked her. And I, I think she's done visiting me. But Vanessa? What is <laughs> same, same. I also asked her to sign it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it's amazing to have a Lego character after you. That, that was when I was like, wow, this is next level. So thank you if you're out there. Round of applause. Hopefully she'll see this if she's not here. Any gifts that you guys have received here at Comic Con? Uh, right before we came on stage, uh, we got a really cool like drawing of us. It was like a oh yeah yeah, <coughs> yeah. there. Oh, I don't think I caught his name. I didn't. I didn't either. But if you're out there, hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's, he's it's, he's a, a vendor here yeah. uh, selling him. It's like basically just us, like in our geese, like yeah. looking badass. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna. What? Yeah. Grant, per Grant Perkins, perhaps. Maybe. He's here. Yeah. Yes. I feel like that was probably him. I'm gonna be super conceited and put it on my wall. <laughs> Good for you. I'm gonna look at it every morning. <laughs> and one of the most touching ones where someone from like Poland came, oh. and she brought like tons of snacks from Poland. And she wanted everyone to try some, and she literally handwritten what each of those snacks were and what they contained and how they tasted like to, I guess, interpret for us because all the packaging was in Polish. So, like, that was amazingly sweet. Mm -hmm. Love that. Yes. <laughs> Round of applause for snacks. We have a question all the way up at number four on the right. This is for Jacob. Welcome to Liverpool. And I'm a Scouser lad. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that was it. All right. I love it. Round of applause for that. Scousa lot. <laughs> Scousa. <laughs> We've also got a question over here, microphone two on the right. Uh, hey, uh, what's your favorite like song? Well, like if you're training, what would you listen to like for a song? Good training song. Rainy day playlist. I Icky you said training, right? Training. Yeah. Yeah. I Icky like thump. Like by the white stripes. Yeah. Icky thump. We, we listen to a lot of pop smoke. I don't know if you all know what pop smoke is. <laughs> that I'm scared to say because ev all the Cobra Kai fans hate on my music taste because I made a um, I made a playlist and I've listened to Doja Cat and like and just the most like poppy um, yeah so I love Harry Styles like just basic um, yeah <laughs> basic yeah basic I think I think mine is a song is probably I don't know if you, any of you are old enough to remember there was a woman named Kiki D who did I Got the Music in Me. And it was just, you know. I would love to see you work out to that oh, yeah. song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I mean, Kiki D, I Got the Music in Me, it's like motivates you if you get depressed or annoyed, then you got the music in you, then you get your. There we oh go. Oh my God. You got to dance go, now, Marty. Let's Here go, Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance now, Marty. Work out. Come on. Sensei, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, take it off. And that's what happens. You just. Whoever played that song, you're brilliant. It takes over. It takes over your body. You know, those days where you don't feel you have enough lines in the episode, boom, you listen to Kiki D. Martin Cove is a Kiki D fan. That's a Comic-Con exclusive right here in Liverpool. Give it up for Martin Cove and that amazing impromptu performance. Thank you for that. We've got a question over here to the left. We've only got time for possibly one or two more, so we're going to go to microphone one here on the left. Before I start, I would like to say, Peyton and Jacob, you're my favorite characters ever. I love you both. <laughs> nice. Ow. And... Uh, Boo-hoo. <laughs> we're all here. <laughs> These are all my favorite. Okay. <laughs> I earned that. Yeah. Um, did you have to watch or already watch the Karate Kid films? If so, what movie would you love? What movie would you like? To Never try? seen it. And <laughs> what's your favorite film? <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> I mean, yes, we've all seen them, but I think the first one is my favorite. If I got to choose one, I would choose the first one. Yeah, I just watched it again recently. I would definitely say the first one. I mean, it, was, it was the first one I watched. I saw it when I was about 13, you know, with my little brother, and we instantly started trying to crane kick each other in the face. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely the first one. We're going to have to go to two different questions right over here because we have two cosplayers right here. Yes, Cobra Kai. <laughs> go ahead with your question, sir. Microphone two. Um. This is for everyone, mainly aiming at Jacob, though. Um, which is your favorite mohawk? <laughs> yes, everyone tell me which mohawk you like the, the most on me. Purple. Oh. oh, mine? Mine's purple. Yeah, Courtney, what, 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 how do, what do you think I look the best you in? You have a mohawk? <laughs> <laughs> Just thought that was, um, I like the red. Is that, is that a terrible answer? <laughs> oh, that's my answer. Red. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like, well, the one you, that you occasionally shower in when you do the, the pink shower cap. I hope he cap. showers the in pink, the mall. He puts a pink shower cap on. <laughs> That's my favorite, when you protect the pink one. The shower cap? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, red. <laughs> I liked it when I buzzed your cut. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. I like the color you have in season five. Oh! Spoiler! No spoilers. Uh, I think I like purple the most. Purple. I like having red hair, just like normally the most, but I think I like the purple mohawk the most. 
Well, speaking of Mohawks, thank you, sir, for your question. Speaking of Mohawks, our final question is going to be right here, microphone too. You might recognize yeah, this gentleman. Yeah, nice, First dude. First off, Jacob, you're my idol. I want to be exactly like you when I'm older. <laughs> All right. Um, I actually have two questions for you. The first one is, did you like the cookies? Oh, dude, yeah, I was sharing them with everybody. They were great. And the second one is, like, how was it working on Kirby Buckets? <laughs> Kirby Buckets is great. That was a, uh, it was a Disney XD show I got to do when I was um, about 13. It was super fun. It was a single cam show, and that was my first time ever working on a single cam show, and I got to learn a ton from that. It definitely helped with Cobra Kai and just, like, knowing the pace of kind of how single cam works versus multicam. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your questions. But we've got to get them back to the photo op and autograph area. Please give a round of applause. Keep it going for the cast of Cobra Kai. Yeah, yo. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Vanessa, Courtney, Peyton, Martin, Jesse, Joe, Gianni, op and autograph area.